I'm Kenny from Microbird. Let me guess, you've been given the task of driving children in the multifunction school activity bus, also known as the MFSAB. You're probably wondering how best to operate the vehicle while keeping the children safe. Well, you've come to the right place. I'll show you everything you need to know. Follow along and I'll show you how easy and simple it is to operate the Microbird MFSAB bus. So in the next few minutes, we're going to go over some of the main features of the vehicle as well as review some basic operating procedures. Remember, the key word that ties everything together here is safety. Safety is extremely important in Microbird. That means above all ensuring your safety and the safety of the children under your care during a trip. Our Microbird buses are designed and built with the highest standards of safety, comfort and ergonomics in mind, ensuring not only a pleasant ride for the kids, but also your peace of mind while driving. So first, there are a few outside features specific to this bus that you'll want to know about. One, the visibility in this vehicle is second to none. With its more view window, wide glass paneled entrance door and large windshield, your level of safety is greatly increased while monitoring children coming in and out of the bus. Not to mention that this also increases comfort while driving. Rear visibility is also optimal, allowing you to see more while in reverse. Next, the body structure of Microbird buses is well recognized for its durability. It exceeds federal motor vehicle safety standards. Its side impact barriers and other structural reinforcements offer the greatest impact protection in the industry. Now, let's have a look inside. There are a few more features inside the vehicle you'll find useful to know about as well. First, for the driver, you'll be happy to know the vehicle is easy to maneuver. It drives essentially like a minivan. You'll find the standard instrument cluster you would find in a car and the gear selector operates the same as any normal automatic vehicle. The driver control panel provides simple control selectors to open and close the electric entrance door, to control the passenger cabin light, to control the driver dome light, and to control the rear heater which we'll come back to in a couple of minutes. Below the top of the control panel, you'll find the AC control switch. This will operate the air conditioning unit, which is normally located at the top rear of the bus. Depending on the configuration of your vehicle, the AC unit can also be located at the front. The vehicle is also equipped with a rear view backup camera. The image appears on the right side of the rear view mirror as soon as the vehicle is put in reverse. There's an extra storage unit under the regular glove box, where you'll also find a fire extinguisher and a first aid kit. There are two accessory batteries on a Microbird 4T series, which are located under the driver's seat. The owner's manual will give you more instructions on how to access those should you ever need to do that. It's also useful to know there's an easily accessible electrical box located just above the driver's seat in the front cabin. The rear emergency door has an interlock feature. This will prevent unauthorized access but the door actually has to be unlocked while driving. This is to allow passengers to exit the vehicle in the event of an emergency, hence rear emergency door. The way it works is there's a locking pin in the door that when pushed, completes the circuit to the ignition. When the cylinder is left in the lock position, it prevents the engine from starting. So the driver needs to unlock the door before each trip. Otherwise, an alarm will warn the driver when the key is put in the ignition, and furthermore, the engine simply won't start. There's also an emergency door latch release for the front entrance doors should the passengers ever need to exit the bus in an emergency away from the rear. To open the front doors, simply pull this handle right here and push the doors open. Back in the rear of the bus, you'll find a heater which will keep the passengers warm during the colder months. To prevent overheating in the summer months, we recommend you close the shutoff valve, which you'll find underneath the body behind the driver's compartment. Now the seats. The seats are designed according to the highest safety standards while keeping the children's comfort in mind. There are two types of seatbelt systems in this vehicle. First, there are the three-point fully adjustable seatbelts that we're all familiar with for passengers over 40 pounds. And second, you have access to universal integrated child seats that will safely anchor children under 40 pounds. Please refer to the child safety section of your brand specific transportation policy for specific age guidelines. Now, here are the principal steps you should follow to properly secure your young passengers in these integrated child seats. One, 
Pull the integrated child seat out of the backrest and fold it in two, like so. Note that you can leave it unfolded if the child is taller than average. 2. Loosen all the straps and attachments of the restraint system and make sure to pull the buckle strap forward so you don't have to fish for it later. 3. Place the child in the seat, pull both shoulder straps over the child's shoulders, and insert the two latch plates in the buckle. Make sure the straps are not twisted and that they lay properly across the child's hips. 4. Tighten the harness, pulling the straps straight forward and at a downward angle. Finally, fasten the chest clip at the upper chest level and your child is properly secured. Safety being our number one priority, if you ever find the child restraint system or mechanism damaged or defective in any way, do not use it and contact your supervisor immediately. Now, I want to cover child check. This is a system integrated into the vehicle that will force the driver to walk to the back of the bus after each trip to deactivate an alarm that would otherwise likely go off and startle the entire neighborhood. Now, the idea here being that when the driver walks to the back of the bus to deactivate the alarm, the driver can easily see if there are any sleeping children still on the bus. Clever, right? The system self-activates 10 minutes after the ignition is turned on or when the passenger entrance door is opened. It will remain armed until the driver deactivates it by pressing this button here, located at the rear of the bus. According to different state laws, the driver has one to three minutes to do so. For more information on this, you can refer to the Sleeping Child Check Operation Procedure decal at the left of the driver's seat. Operating guidelines are best remembered when built into a routine. The idea here is to build an easy, habitual sequence of tasks that when performed every time become easy and greatly maximize safety while minimizing the chance of unforeseen complications. Before doing anything, give your bus a quick inspection and if you see any problems that might endanger the safety or welfare of your passengers or if you notice any damage, please report it immediately to your supervisor and don't go anywhere before the bus is deemed safe by an expert. So here's a suggested four-step pre-trip boarding safety routine you may want to conduct in order to maximize safety, not to mention comfort and peace of mind. You'll see, it's an easy and handy procedural routine to remember. First, unlock the rear door and make sure it is closed properly. Second, gather all your passengers inside the bus and close the door. Third, ensure every passenger is properly positioned and tied securely with the appropriate seatbelt system. And finally, Put your seatbelt on, start your engine, adjust the cabin temperature if needed while the vehicle is still stationary, send a reassuring smile to your passengers through the mirror, and gently get on your way. So that's the gist of it. Safety comes first and our MFSAB vehicles are designed and built with the highest safety standards. At Microbird, we have a long history of supporting our clients and customers through a legacy of bus innovations and a long line of reliable, industry-leading vehicles. More than 50 years of experience have led us to where we are today, and we're confident you'll be in good hands with your MFSAB vehicle for years to come. We're glad you took the time to watch this video and hope you found it useful. If you have any other questions or concerns or would like more information, please contact your Microbird dealer. Thank you for your continued trust. Drive safe. Thank you.